I have a big family. There's eight of us, and I'm number seven. Despite that, I was really lonely growing up. I had nannies, and my siblings, for the most part, are much older than I am. I think that is a big contribution to my abandonment issues because I was really attached to my mom and my sister Frankie because they were like the closest people around me. And so it was really hard for me to imagine letting go of them, like living my own life. I think you had separation anxiety and I did too. Every time I dropped you off at school, I felt bad having to leave you at school, but I had to go to work. And you walked backwards, waving at me goodbye until it's like a hundred steps that you would be walking backwards and waving goodbye. Ari and I were really close growing up and I think that she and I had a codependent relationship. And I think there was just a lot of stuff going on in our home life where we felt like we had to team up and probably didn't do so in a healthy way. Like we were just way too, um, way too safe with each other and too scared of the world. As I grew up, I became much more outgoing. I participated in competitive cheerleading and musical theater and oratorical contests. It helped with the depression and gave me a sense of self-worth. I was a different person at school and in public than I was at home. My name is Cameron Lee and I am a QMHA. Uh, I usually do the initial diagnosing of, of new patients who come in, realize that they have some sort of uh, mental issue and that they, um, they need help. I started hearing voices around 10 years old, but I had been self-destructive for a while before that. It was hard because coming from not only an Asian family, but also a family with older parents. There was a big like stigma around it and not wanting to talk to therapists or strangers. And also the fear of medication and relying on it. They say uh, right now, uh, the population in the United States, 50% has at least uh, one mental disorder. Um, out of those 50%, uh, half of those people are the ones who actually uh, are diagnosed. So there's a huge population um, that goes undiagnosed every day, whether it be anxiety, uh, you know, depression, ADHD, or, or whatever the case may be. There's a lot of people that are just dealing with their issues and, you know, not getting help. But there's you have to realize there's tons of people uh, in office and in college and school that have uh, mental disorders that do just fine. You know, they just say, hey, uh, I have ADHD, I'm, I'm taking my medication. I have uh, depression, I take my medication for depression. I have, you know, whatever, anxiety, um, bipolar. You know, as long as they take their medication, they're, they're just fine. There have been multiple turning points in my life. It's like a series of epiphanies where I just get fed up with something in my life and so I change it. I'm terrible at math, but it's a simple and universal rule that if you don't change the factors of an equation, the outcome will never change. I don't think my family knows much about mental health, so they try to support me the best and only ways they know how. I do feel like they walk on eggshells around me sometimes because I have been in the past very prone to lash out or panic. The important thing is, is that they're trying and that it is a process. Oh, 
Oh, look at her go. Look at her go, go, go.